Hey, what's up, Internet? Hey, I, man. I'm Chris Crude here with Zach Embry. We're at the Fuel event here in Vancouver, which is a, a cool event talking about kind of the future of cities and urbanity and kind of how we all fit into it. So I'm here with a, a homeboy of mine, Zach Embry. Zach's an activist, photographer, and filmmaker, and a creative maker type. What's going on, Z? Uh, I just rode my bike here through the rain. Very good, yeah. very good. <laughs> Feeling yeah. good, feeling yeah. refreshed. Yeah. yeah. Ray Day, I'm really excited to hear uh, what's in store for us today, what kind of ideas we're going to check out. Well, um, as just like a test of what's going to happen, there's a lot of uh, interesting folks here. Right? You know, I just had coffee and had a breakfast sandwich, ran right? lots of interesting peeps, and so um, there's a lot of artists and activists and um, city planners and stuff kind of out here. So, nice. yeah, it sh should be interesting. What are you up to these days? Uh, right now, I'm working on a film called Directly Affected. Uh, we got it funded through Tell a Story Hive. Yeah. Um, and which uh, is like a big pitching competition amongst local people. You had to uh, put stuff on the internet. You yeah, we had, it was essentially like a like a crowdfunding campaign in a way, but people didn't have to give money; they decided to give their votes. Mm -hmm. So we got voted in. Uh, I think we ran a really strong campaign, and the the film that we're making is about the expansion of a pipeline which I think uh, an oil pipeline coming from Alberta to uh, the Salish Sea here on the West Coast. And so in many ways this has everything to do with how it is that we power our lives and what the future of, of how, we, how we live in urban spaces. Um, originally this pipeline was built 60 years ago in order to, uh, in order to serve local markets. Uh, now it's going to be tripled and it's going to take fuel from Alberta and send it to Asian markets. Um, yeah, man, like uh, geopolitically, this area is actually just like at the hotbed of kind of uh, oil and gas exploration vis-a-vis -vis climate change and kind of native sovereignty and rights issues and stuff. It's really like um, Zach's, Zach's work has been getting international attention as, um, as I said, like as these tension rise between the pipelines they want to put in. This is tied to Keystone Excel in America as well. So, you know, there's all this dirty oil up in Alberta, and they want to move it around. Yeah, it's 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 really la it's trapped. It's land trapped. So they have to build pipelines in order to get it out. They're moving a lot of it by rail right now, but they want to build these big pipelines, either to um, America or to China. Or into yeah, China. Yeah. And and so you know, for the West Coast right now, this really represents uh, the thin green line that's holding us back from catastrophic climate change because if they pull this oil out of the ground as fast as they're planning and burn it all up, um, we're, we're setting ourselves up for a really difficult situation in terms of how much carbon we're putting in the air and really it's changing the political landscape of Canada right now. Um, all of this money and all this influence from big oil is really shifting our culture deeply right now and, uh, and, and how it is that we fund uh, how it is that we power ourselves and how it is that we fund our society. Yeah, serious topic, but a lot of uh, Zach's work is really beautiful and playful and awesome. Uh, tell them about Hope the Whale. So we built a big 30-foot uh, whale, weighed about, uh, about 800 pounds, and skinned it with old sailcloths. And on the beautiful inside, man. yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Chris came down to photograph, and, uh, and we projected images of the coast. Uh, and we put this downtown to, to, to strike up conversations with people around uh, what it is that we're putting at risk uh, when we start transporting massive amounts of oil on this coast. Yeah, it was cool. And speaking of 800 pounds, did this phone is fucking getting 800 pounds in my arm here. So we should sign off All and right. head on in there, check it out. But um, it. Zach Embry, ZachEmbry.com. Awesome dude. Over and out for now, internets.